What is happening, y'all? Welcome, I'm back. And uh, we have figured out how to get the mount pips. I've actually been cruising around for a bit trying to refine these guys. Uh, but so these are the mount pips. I forgot I had to just, you know, crotch slide under them. You go under them like that and you get the mounts. Now we can go over here and get our weird shadow beast thing. is really derpy looking but it's mine now so anyway uh with that out of the way i found a couple of cool things let me go to the map real fast um over here there was like a, a big hulk type thing you know the same as any other large enemy i fought but after killing it it gave me a key to like a treasure vault where i picked up a bunch of stuff which i haven't even looked at yet uh let's see new helmet that's not neither of those are very good all right, so they're all pretty much all garbage. That is kind of kind of sad. Uh, we'll just break it all down. Uh, we got a new chest. It looks like. Let's check that. Uh, not that good. Hmm. Big chunk of key energy. I lose all energy region that I have though. That's pretty bad. But it does have more armor. This thing is pretty good, but that's level 30. Um, I don't know. Let's... Let's not do it. I'm also going to lose crit chance. Uh, and shoulders. More armor. No crit. No energy regen, but more key energy. Those are probably worth. Ancient pads. I need to go back and... Okay. So anyway, we are going to go grab the guns flexors next, if I can... Remember where they're at. One's over here. So I can... I hate that I can't fast travel on a mount. It's so weird. It's such a weird restriction, you know? Like, I get the one where I'm like, hey, I'm down in a... You know, I'm in a cave. I can't fast travel because I'm in a cave. That makes sense. Telling me, oh, no, you're, just, you're on your mount. Can't fast travel from here. Like, what? Why? It's nonsensical. It's silly. I will say, at this point, I had a chance to... Um, obviously, I was, I've was i been recording a lot of this pre-release, which by the time y'all see this video, no, no, that's relevant anymore, because the game's been out. Um, but after getting a chance to play the demo for Scarlet Nexus, I'm excited that's coming up soon, because I need something that I can... 19, Jesus, I ain't fighting this. Um, but yeah, Scarlet Nexus will, will be nice after this, because, yeah, I don't know, this game, it's like, it's there's so much on this game that, like, you can tell they, they tried to make a really fulfilling game, you know. Like, there's a, a huge world here that you can engage in and all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, check this out, check how shitty this shotgun is. Yeah, it's complete, complete garbage. Even compared to something else I don't have upgraded. You know, take the, the rifle, for example. And none of that matters in the grand scheme of things because I should be using double pistols. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to do a proper review for this game because I need, I need to just really put my thoughts out there. It's just I feel like it's a good example of of a good effort, but it just ultimately falls short. Like, it's like so many, so many just like cool systems and things in this game that ultimately weren't 
really polished enough to have the depth that they should have. Like going and building a strength build, ultimately it's irrelevant because anything that uh, has any kind of difficulty, you're going to end up fighting it with your guns because your guns are going to do more damage than your melee ever comes close to dealing. Did the fucking Mirage leave? Are you kidding me, dude? This fucking thing. Like, that's another thing. Why? Why? I've been looking all over for a Mirage, dude. I find one, and it decides to, I guess, just fade away while I'm dealing with the asshole elite who just happened to also be there. Like... Yuck. That there's a sludge gush field where the company used to suck sludge from the underground. Oof, now it's all over. Many weird things like that where... Man, it's just... I don't know. And like there's you know there's nothing else to there's nothing else to play right now. There's no other game for me to really do. It's just weird because like this game's not bad, but there's just so many small things that make you go like what? Why why would you do this? Our fix are up. It's not so bad. I still have some stuff. <laughs> Proper lock on would do this game volumes. Going well, one arm, then the other. Pumping good, looking better. Where's the support balut that's over here? It's not even good. Health and radioactive and ice resist and less armor. Uh, cool. All okay, where are we going next?
yerk fields, where the echo of your actions resounds clearer than any other place you'll find, except for where that's not true. It's like a Mount Pip thing. There's guns flexors, you'd think there'd also be like a science puzzle that I could use to boost up intellect or something. Get the rhythm going well. One arm, then the other. Complains that it's hard living in a world No one builds My mouth's covering the camera To find him, you should look for steep places it wanted to take a bath to clean up. However, choosing only a giant brush will just be sure to brush figures that. Alright, well, I'm not really too keen on those side quests. Um, let's go return to Goop, finally. You found the greatest glider of all, an ark, and it's all good to go. Did you do it? Figures it must. What a wild kind of ride it's gotta be. Can you do it? Funny that you found an ark when you don't need to go anywhere in it. The world's still going to be here. Now I divided. You almost broke yourself trying to break this world, all arcing aside. Uh, Wonders if there are any open seats. So what we have here is someone looking for a wet. I'm so glad we are better off on yeah, our. Yeah, this dude taught me to swim. He's cool. You get a seat. When I can do a go wish ya to be real wingy goop. Okay. Rival outposts. Uh, the next one, who was I on? Next world eater. I think it's this one. The the Mecha, Mecha Mujit. Yeah, no, that's it. Because I remember I had, uh, 
had to go and get um get the suits to do all that and then I just got sidetracked. To the Mecha Mujit we go. Is my strength at anyway? 99. I mean, you'd think my melee damage would absolutely decimate shit at this point. The Smilo Shopperia. Guess shopping here put a smile on your face. This way and turn on the power. You need to line up the switches so they match. enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Is like this. Just a few moves left, make them go. As the eye box broadcasts, it's hit or miss, but when it does hit, it's usually right in the fields. Now hold on, sit tight. Isn't that the mechamajut over there? Yeah, but there's want to get the. I get the superb loot that's here. I came all the way over. Didn't notice anywhere that had the glow. There we go. You need to loosen the bolts without rattling the mechamajot. 
Just a few moves left. Make them count. That's it. The sit tight is loose. Time to stop horsing around and get. This game just keeps making enemies that are higher level than me. Now that the Majut's got a Nokko's been training another fantabulous little crit. You'll find meat. You'll be able to pull them with a pull hook. They go yank the, the teeth out of something. So glitter moths are gonna be the the obvious. Uh, I feel like everything you have you have something, whether it's like the little things or the the quickity quacks. There's always something that you get before you fight a world eater. Fire-breathing rat. <clears throat> gonna have to. It's gonna be a hard pass from me. Like the fire-breathing rat is coming after me. This place is called Brightlight. Mito lives close by. Let's see. Kupa Zakumpu Zai Kandum with the word Totum figures that doesn't make it any Zumpa Uitoko. You found your Taikatapa begs you to center yourself in the light. I'm a darkness kind of guy. No matter where your path takes you, though, it's important. I found Undo Pontoja Yonko. Figures that doesn't matter. Stunned that you decided. Dalfa? Says you did the right thing in. Says he can see by the twinkle in your eyes that you're not here to. He assumes you are here to be enlightened. He senses you're like the dayfly. Living every day like Dalfa? believes no one is entirely done. Oh, dude, I did not come here to be lectured. Finding yourself a glitter moth would give you that glimmer of hope you need. All I want is the glitter morph. This guy's like, let me tell you my life story about the light and the dark. It's like a fucking Jehovah Witness. Bro, no, stop. Stop. I'm not I'm not interested. I heard you know where to find the things. That's all I care about.
Looks like it's actually up the mountain a bit. Oh, wait. There we go. There's a... These are climbing points. Oh, okay. We gotta climb on up and then tightrope walk. Unless I go through here. No. This looks to be the most obvious way through. Damn, dude. I hate that, like, everything just hits through you. Like, it doesn't matter. It really, like, begs the question why I even have melee in this game. If everything just has hyper armor. Holy shit, these things are quick. Alright, got him. Vitality. Everything feels better. Um, side points nine and bio points. Fourteen for mud punch. And uh, the side points was I saving up towards sky spark is eighteen. Halfway there. One away, I could get telekinesis. But anyway, we're gonna wrap up here. Um. We still got two world eaters to go, obviously, but we'll continue this on in a bit, so stay tuned. Catch y'all then.